hear the bumper smash and you can see how much like i mean i'm into the corner and it looks it also looks a little bit worse because my inside tire is up in the air a little bit and just starting to come down from jacking and then i'm full opposite lock from the impact and the load and, and like i fully thought going back to the broadcast that this would look like a much bigger impact than what it actually looks like because when you go back and back you play the broadcast five this doesn't look like a big hit right you know this looks like just kind of hard racing and you really you know have to nitpick here and, and it's hard at, at at the naked eye to, to you know make sure that joey's not getting hit from behind which he wasn't um you know and and this just luckily happened to be on camera that i could show you both angles of it but where i'm going with this is that these little incidents you know are are they're just they're just dirty enough um but not too dirty that in my mind you know in turner's case in my case uh i even have um you know the last lap from rotax which also wasn't called um a penalty here this was for the two. win when i was searching for some stuff today this was for the win now macy williams didn't win on sunday for those who've been watching our pages she got a jump start penalty which our camera doesn't have a good angle on so i'm going to trust the race director on the jump start because we were looking head on at it and cooper eau claire was the pull man ended up still getting the lead by the end of turn number one um but going into the corner here you see cooper and this is again not the best angle He's breaking on the inside, blocking, and she hits him just right there where her hands go like this. Just enough that Cooper goes a little bit wider than what he was originally planning on, and she beats him to the line. And uh, this oh, is another instance, unfortunately, for poor poor Turner, um, Turner Brown, where we go for the final he goes low right here. Time go defense Those defense okay he's doing his good job he's turning jackson and jackson won't he gets in Warney, Warney, a little and bit of uh here Chico. i'll play that full speed first before i slow it down and just you know hits him square knocks him out of the way and it was just enough that that you know he beat turner to the line and you know f fully understand i mean poor <laughs> poor turner dude two races over the last three weeks and and uh you know, he ends up not getting to finish because he did his job. He defended, and I think he should be allowed to defend on the last lap without getting rooted out of the way. I think if Turner's doing this on lap number one or lap number two, you know, consistently like Harley Keeble did at, at Cincinnati, absolutely move him out of the way. But last lap, last corner, I, I think you should be allowed to defend your position without having to worry getting hit. Now, a lot of coaches, regardless, and, and this is my race director uh, response to this. My driver coach, if I'm Turner's driver coach, or if I'm Trevor McAllister under Arcane, I'm like, look, man, you got to break harder next time. You got to basically brake test the guy, anticipate him hitting you, and then hit the gas. Um, so that way this doesn't happen, you know? Because Turner was just braking enough that way if there was no contact and Jackson tried to over-under him, he wasn't going to have the momentum because he would have to wait so long to hit the gas because he's waiting on Turner to, to open up out of the corner that, that Turner's going to win. But now you got to tell the kid, you've got to brake even harder, and you basically had need to stay on the brakes and wait to get hit, and then hit the gas and get out of the turn. And the reason why you want, in my opinion, to penalize drivers from these types of moves, and again, none of these moves that I just showed you, I, I believe uh, would have knocked the bumper in. So at TSRS, for example, we don't run pushbacks with the evolution of pushbacks in the very first race in 2017 when I ra and I raced it. Uh, USPKS was the first series nationally that brought them in. And uh, and I I don't think I knocked my bumper in. the No, I did. I knocked my bumper in actually coming out of turn eight in a heat race because we ran two heats and then a main at that time with a couple less classes at USPKS. So we had two heats. And in the first heat race, I was being a little too conservative. I wasn't passing people right back when they'd pass me. Um, but I was just as fast as them. Uh, and that's kind of what you got to do in, in KA racing. And we were racing KA. And I was just too nervous at the time, to be honest with you. Um, but we were two by two coming out of the hairpin at GoPro or at Trackhouse. And I'm getting into line and, and just get a little nudge from behind. You know, as everyone's kind of checking up to go from two wide down to single file and that little nudge knock my bumper in. Now, if we 
didn't do anything to the bumpers uh, and, and didn't learn and try to make them where they don't push in as hard or replace the pushback bumpers like everybody does the moment they go in. So that way the rubber that gets, you know, uh, rubbed off just that little extra off the lip, um, you know, is, is why you buy a new 40 set of uh, pushback uh, pads. If, uh, if you're knocking it once, what everybody does now, you're doing different things to the front bars, try and run them tight. You're clamping the hell out of it where you're nearly breaking your finger when you put the clamps down on the grid. If we didn't know everything that we know uh, seven years later about pushback bumpers, they might go in in some of these incidents. But I can tell you with confidence right now that they won't because um, we're seeing even bump and runs go at, at nationals um, and, and the bumpers aren't in. I mean, they're, they're hardly ever going in. It's it's maybe two to three guys out of a race, and they ha- they have to plow someone to knock that thing in. I had it on at NOLA. It never went in off any incidental contact. And I'm not saying I moved anyone out of the way because I didn't. Uh, I, but I did have it knock in when Jake French landed on me at the start of, uh, I think, the main there. Um, but the pushbacks won't do it. So the race directors have to do it. My recommendation is that, look – It might suck and it would burn some people. And this is where the public needs to become open to this is if there's a line like this and and you're fourth in line, third in line, fifth in line, seventh line, whatever. But, you you know, there's pushing and the guy in front of you is the only guy that gets rooted to the outside like this. You get the penalty. You are going to be scared to run on the bumper of the guy in front of you. And I know this works because at sskc races that i used to race direct we only really had one big class and we never ran pushbacks at those races either and it was x30 junior it'd be maybe about 20 to 24 we'd go through the first three final and we would demolish five carts in turn one because there's no pushbacks everyone's full throttling each other's bumpers so before the main i would tell the kids that if i didn't see daylight between the bumper in front of you and your bumper you were getting a pushing penalty of three to five seconds I scared them. If 10 of those kids all pushed each other, I would not be able to get all of them. I would miss a few, but nobody would push. And I never had to worry about it because I would scare them. Now you can't quite do that scare tactic at bigger races like regionals and nationals. I don't think you have to probably stick to your guns and maybe put a camera on that start. Um, But in this case, off the naked eye test, you can see one cart that goes out of line. You know, it's not going to be five. It's going to be one guy that unfortunately he gets shoved too much and he gets shoved out of line. And so if you're worried, if I'm worried that you're in front of me, Kyle, and if you go wide and I'm the first guy on your bumper, I'm going to draw a two position or two second or three second penalty. I'm going to purposely give you space, you know, and you can always run a 360 camera. Look, we just talked about costs and what people are spending. Um, What's a 360 camera to own? $400? Yeah. I mean, you know, might even be cheaper or to put $200 GoPros, one forward, one back, just if you needed to protest it. I think you do that because here's what happens when you don't. When when you're allowed to lean on the guy's bumper and there's not going to be any, there's not going to be any penalty for a bump and run. What you have is incidents like this. And, and this incident, if you break it down, right, they're, they're already door banging up for second, for sure. Like, they're tight. Like, Chapel in the black suit, he's not all the way down on the outside. He, he's trying to stay low to Guillaume so he can either over under him or crowd him down or whatever. But in Robertson's case, I mean, Guillaume's already locking up. He's on Alex's bumper. It's not a big impact for Robertson, but it didn't need to be a big impact to start this wreck. It was just a light touch, and it was probably a bigger impact for Guillaume in the driver's seat based on what my onboard showed and what I felt than what this looks like. But you we're getting a lot of these wrecks at these races um, on, on the incidents. Now, they they uh, he protested the penalty, and um, yeah, Reagan's right. He did try to protest, and he lost. And they're calling the penalties on these wrecks. I'm not saying they didn't call a penalty on this wreck. What I'm saying is the wreck happens because you're not calling the penalties on the smaller stuff. Um, and so I'm trying to go back and avoid the fact that we get to this level because I don't want to put a product out that has us doing this on the last lap of every single race. And in KA, we did this every three out of four races in Orlando the pre-finals and the finals. The only race that didn't have a wreck decide the winner was the race that Peyton Phillips drove away. 
and dominated. And so they couldn't wreck on the last lap. And I'll see if I can go grab that here, Kyle. But uh, I know Braden protested this. I think he got a cut down to half, um, Reagan. I, I, I don't think it, the full one stuck. He still had a penalty. But I, I, I believe that they were able to knock it down to half. Right, because their argument, and from his onboard, you can see that Chapel and Gio are, are already touching tires. Um, and again, I'm I'm not trying to call Braden out. I, you know, I'm trying to go to bat actually to get him into a into a ride later this year, because uh, his dad won the KC Fantasy League. Super nice family, super nice kid, big fan of him. Um, yeah, but I believe it turned from a 10 second to a five second penalty. Um. Anyway, that was a lot, Kyle. So yeah. Uh. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can go and find um, uh, find some of the, the K stuff from Orlando. But that's that's my thoughts. Is you know it the the response of like what I would tell a junior driver or younger driver in my shoes is okay. If that's not a penalty, not only go out and do that to everybody else. But if I get around Joey Friend again in the CRG, I'm going to make sure I root him out of the way. Now, me being me, I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. The last thing I need is for any of these series that are allowing me to race in them with a, uh, you know, already a hand in the cookie jar. You know, I'm, I'm already fighting. I, I have to be, you know. If we're going to call these penalties, I probably should be the last one that a penalty gets called like benefiting uh, <laughs> because the last thing we need is people thinking that they're being favoritism to the guy that owns car chaser and runs the broadcast. And I know that, that, that if I race, the, like I need to take more licks than everybody else. Um, but taking me out of the equation, if, if I'm, you know, if it's just a random driver that I see get rooted out of the way there and he comes up and he's like, dude, this sucks. I'm like, well, Old school it. Go out and junk the guy, right? Or go out and do that right back to that specific guy. If you want to raise everybody else clean, go out and do that. I don't want to do that to Joey. I like Joey. I like his dad. And Joey, to his credit, he, he, I, he, I know he didn't do it intentionally. And it's so ingrained in the racecraft, every one of these little little things. These aren't looked at as overly bad by the entire paddock. And this is why I was saying I think we need a guy that explains that this isn't the best um, because – Joey came and wished me luck before the next heat race because he was in a different group. And I went to Joey and I was like, are you going to clean me out you know, or hit me again in the main? And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, dude, like you blasted me in the, in the corner. We're all breaking low on the inside. We all make the turn and, and I don't. And he's like, oh, I was I was getting hit. And then, oh, actually, oh, I'm sorry, Xander. And like I said. I, I, there are so many other instances that this happens like throughout the race weekend. I'm, I just, I know this happened to me. I, I knew it was on broadcast. So I want to make sure that I send a lot of love to the Robertsons and to the friends, because those are great people. And I want to, I want to really stress that, that I'm not trying to call them out because neither one of their kids, I don't, I don't believe are dirty drivers in any way. Um, but we're getting wrecks like this because there's no issue of being on the bumper. If this wreck doesn't happen, for example, if, if Guillaume does not, not wreck right here, but let's say Braden does push him and Guillaume goes wide and Braden gets into second, I know that there wouldn't be a penalty. Um, <clears throat> and because there's not penalties for these little stuff that aren't big wrecks, we're getting left with 10 to 12 go-karts DNFing a 40-cart main. If you're not going to – if our limit of what's allowed racecraft-wise is so close to the limit of crashing – then, you know, we're going to crash 